Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna Louise and today's video is going to be one that I decided to do because I get a lot of questions about this topic and I thought why not sit down and just make a small kind of video about it just so I could explain eh, something on my lip here. I hope I do not smear my lipstick. There we go. Got it. Um, anyway, this is something that I get asked about a lot so I just thought that I would make a short little video to tell you guys, as you can probably tell by today's title, we are going to be talking about the reason why I started better fish keeping. Like, what got me into this, like what made me want to do this, and everything like that. So, so without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into the video and I'll start explaining. Okay, so, got my coffee here. Well, I always have to have coffee. Alright, so. I thought that right now would also be the perfect time to film this video because my birthday is very soon. It is actually coming up in, I think, eight days. Um, and so basically, this time last year is when I started to want to keep betas. So I figured, why not film it now? Because it's literally almost the year anniversary of when I wanted to start keeping betta fish. So like I said, this time last year is when it all kind of started for me. Um, my really close friend who also is my business partner with like my breeding and stuff, she had gotten a bit of fish. She had gotten one from Pet Sense actually. She didn't know much about them, but she really, really, really loved the one that she got. And um, she would always be sending me pictures and videos of this fish and talking about how special he was to her. He was beautiful. At this point, I had never seen betta fish that weren't just blue, red, or white belt tails. Like that is all I'd ever seen in my life. And that's all I had even kept as a child. Um, so literally, basically I got opened up to the world of betta fish because I had no idea before then, like, at all. So anyway, he was beautiful. He's actually, he was a Veiltail, but he was all different colors. Very similar to the way Rupert looks. Um, and I thought he was absolutely beautiful. And then she went on to get mystery snails. I thought that was super cool. I loved her tank. I loved the design. And when I was little, I actually didn't get the chance. I didn't know anything about betas. I didn't know what they needed. So unfortunately, obviously I didn't treat them or care for them in the absolute proper way that they needed because I was a little girl. I didn't know any better. Um, and so seeing all of the proper ways to care for them and everything like that was just like awesome to me. I loved it. Her tank was beautiful. It was a 3.5 top fin. I have a few of those still in my house. It was so nice. I love the decorations and just everything about it caught my eye I was I was obsessed um and basically she got the snails and she was like and she was telling me all about them and how she read somewhere on the internet that these snails liked squash that they would eat squash so I remember that was the doorbell so interrupting me but anyway um back to the squash she had read that the snails would eat squash so she literally went and cooked her snail squash they didn't eat it but her beta did and i thought that was so cool because everything she was showing me and everything she was telling me was making me believe that these fish were not just a fish that they were like a fish dog you know what i'm saying so all of that just really 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 excited me now this was right before my birthday so i texted my mom like i really 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 wanted one but i didn't think my mom would say yes um i am almost 21 i still live at home i'm in college full time two different two different colleges so i'm still at home but i am getting married next year i'm just saying that's why i had my mom's permission because i am still in her house um anyway i was like i don't even know if she'll say yes you know i kind of honestly thought she was gonna say no so this was a few days before my birthday. I texted her and I told her everything about my friend and her fish and I just asked if I could have one and very surprisingly she said, well first she said we'll see but that means yes. So anyway she said we'll see and then throughout the day she said yes and I told her everything that it would need, everything like that that would go into it and she was like yeah fine but let's just wait till we get back from vacation which would have been a few days after my birthday. So I already knew I was gonna get one. I was super excited. I didn't know anything about them, like at all. I had looked at the betas and all of that before, and but I didn't really know like all the different types basically. So going into this was a whole different world. Like I'm literally thinking about it now. So anyway, 
go into PetSmart. This is flash forwarding right past my birthday, which I was looking so forward to it. I go to PetSmart. I get the tank. I get all of his decorations. I set it up before I actually got my first beta. And I would like lay in bed at night and just stare at it and get so excited. And even though I was so excited then, I didn't even know how amazing it was going to be. Like, I, I still didn't know. So anyway, I had the tank set up by my bed. I had black gravel. It was a 3.5 gallon from Topfin. I had a plant and I had ordered a Buddha statue off Amazon. And anyway, I would sit and just look at that big empty room and thought, I'm going to have a fish soon. Like, it was it was really exciting, especially having it by my bed when I would lay in bed at night. Um, and I have a lot of anxiety and depression. I talk about this quite a lot on my channel and especially on my Snapchat. So, y'all kind of know that if you watch my channel or know anything about me. Um, so, like I said, I have a lot of that. But... I just like the way it felt at least the excitement so far and the things that I had seen it was so calming and so serene to me that I just I just knew that it was like gonna help me so anyway after I let the tank sit and everything I went to PetSmart to pick out my fish they didn't have many in and I was really really enthused by the Dumbo ear betas because I thought these are really cool like like these guys are different from anything I've ever seen they're adorable little Dumbo fins I was like this is awesome so I come upon this small itty bitty little bean and he was red, a little bit of white, but mostly just completely red, Dumbo ear beta, and he was the one I chose. Um, and at that point I had been binge watching Friends on Netflix, like binge watching Friends. I love Friends. My mom, that used to be her favorite show and knowing that it was on Netflix, I was like, eh, I've seen a couple episodes of Little Girl, so I mean, I was like wanting to actually watch it from start to finish. So I did, and I love Joey. Joey and Phoebe crack me up. Chandler is still one of my favorites. I don't know, I love them all, you know. I love them all. But Joey cracks me up, and I thought, Joey is a good fish name. So I either wanted to name him Joey or Jeffrey. And the only reason why I wanted to possibly name him Jeffrey was because, obviously, on YouTube, I watch a lot of makeup things. I love makeup. I watch a lot of reviews and such. So I didn't really watch Jeffree Star. I have a few of his products, but since he was a boy, I couldn't like name him Kathleen or I don't know, Casey for Casey Holmes. So I was gonna name him Jeffrey after Jeffree Star, but I went with Joey, so glad I did. I did his whole tank. Well, I'll wait for that. But anyway, I named him Joey from Friends and he was so small and he popped in that tank. It was, it was nice. Um, so I got him home it was amazing and at that point I was still doing my old YouTube videos like I wasn't even doing the fish stuff I was not even into the world of animals yet I only did like reviews and hauls and like makeup things so one night I decided why not film him I that's when I discovered Taylor Nicole Dean and how much I love her so much um and it just inspired me so I filmed him and basically after that I was gone like I was hooked and that's where my channel is now today because of that one video because I was inspired by Taylor but anyway I actually ended up doing that whole tank friends themed I had two shrimp one named Ramore and one named Chandler and Ramore was after Joey's character on the days of our lives he was Dr. Drake Ramore so that was after that and I had two snails which were Phoebe and Monica no, not Monica. It was Rachel. Sorry, I forgot. But anyway, yeah, Phoebe and Rachel. So I had a little whole, you know, friends theme. And I remember being so happy. Like, watching him was so peaceful to me. The shrimp, it was like a whole nother world. It was like I was looking into a whole nother world, like a jungle in some faraway land. And for my anxiety and depression, it helped so much. And I have been leaning off of this for a whole year now like you see where i'm at now and it hasn't even been a year um haters gonna hate just saying i know i've got my haters out there i'm not gonna stop i love this with all my heart so if you're a hater and you're watching this love you i'm not stopping um it just grew from there <laughs> basically you know i would watch every night 
I was always happier. I was always having things to look forward to with my fish, like when I got my new snails, my shrimp, you know, feeding them at night, recording the videos. And that's really where it all started because with them, like I said, they're so calming to watch. I love cleaning their tanks. Like, cleaning their tanks is so much fun to me. Like, it was relaxing. It got my mind off things. And it really helped me with anxiety and depression. So if you're watching this video and you don't even own a bed of fish, I highly recommend it, especially if you have anxiety, you know, and depression because I think you'll really see a difference. And I've had so many people come to me as well um, with anxiety and depression who have gotten a bed of fish and have loved it and they've helped them so much. Um, and of course it grew and my second fish was toast. I got him very soon after because he was a mustard gas and I had never seen that. Like, well, he was a mustard gas, but he's like one of the black and yellow types, not the orange or the yellow and blue. So anyway, I had seen him, I was obsessed and I was like, I have to have him. And you know, it just went from there and his tank was actually originally completely um, named after Taylor Nicole Dean's animals. His shrimp and snails have since passed except for one but anyway they were named after her animals and yeah so yeah that's how I started to keep betas um and if you want to know why and how I started breeding I'll tell you that so obviously let's fast forward a little bit to my world and love for betas growing massively I've already had quite a few betas at this time and I was deep into the world of Instagram accounts of other betta fish keepers. I was in deep to all these Instagram pages of just, I mean, from all the world, from Indonesia, from Thailand, seeing all these other things. And I would see all these breeding accounts and I thought it was so cool and so amazing. I would see how the process was. I would just see everything. And I was like, I want to do that so bad. But I thought, that's a lot of work. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I don't know if I'll be allowed to do it. And... At that point, I learned what culling is, which I've had to do it. I know it's necessary sometimes, depending on the fish's life quality, but I was like, I don't know if I can handle that. So it kind of passed back and forth in my head, and and I know it did for my friend too. So we talked about it a lot, and who we knew nothing, y'all. Like back then, we knew nothing about breeding. Like I've done so much research now, but back then, nothing. So we just kind of played around it with our minds and I'm like, we gotta do this, like we've just gotta do it. And I said, we can't back out. Once we say we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Like it's just, it's happening. So that's what we did and I'm so happy, obviously. Um, like I said, we started out, I didn't know jack crap about it. And I look about how I used to be to how I am now. And I'm obviously not a professional in any way. Like I'm not the top number one breeder in the world, whatever, I'm not saying that, but I know I know a whole lot and I'm proud of me for that so knowing what I know now from what I knew then it was it's been such a journey but I literally saw all those pages and it just clicked with me and now that I've done breeding I enjoy that more than anything this is my number one goal and I want to do it for the rest of my life um, I love it so much breeding is definitely my passion and I'm glad that everything has happened for me in a year I have all my pets and then also I've had my first successful spawn and have sold all my babies now. I sent out my last shipment today. So yeah, things I didn't know when I first started breeding to what I know now, it's, I literally feel like, I don't know, it's so cool. Basically, you just learn so much and you learn more than even you think you're gonna learn. Like literally, it's that much. And I love learning anyway, but that's how it all came about. My business partner, and me, she takes care of the money and she ships out the betas at the post office. And I do the actual breeding, the website, the boxes, the notes, all that kind of stuff, I do. Um, so she's the money handler, I'm the breeder and you know. So that's been fun and it hasn't even been a year yet. So in a few more days, it'll be a year that I started all of this, but I've made so much progress and I'm so thankful and I love you guys and I thank y'all so much for following me along on this journey and supporting me. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it for why I started beta fish keeping and why I started the beta breeding. I hope you enjoyed it. I also want to really fast, really fast shout out Vider Energy Mints. Um, if it's going to focus, I don't know. I was so thankful to be sent these out by Vider Energy. I'm not paid for this, so it's not like I'm 
just you know randomly showing you this to you guys trying to get you to buy it because i'm getting paid i'm not but they so graciously sent these out to me to try and so i want to share it with you guys one thing about these these are actually caffeinated mint so they are energy boosters and one thing with me i do not drink energy drinks i'm not about that i've had them once or twice before but i know that they're extremely bad for you my mom is actually a kidney nurse she works in dialysis so She's big on my kidneys and she's big on energy drinks and me not having them. So these are good. She is all good with these. Actually, if you just take two, it is the equivalent of a cup of coffee. And I don't even like drinking stuff like that anyway. I am a Coke fan. Like Coke is all I'll drink and coffee. So if you don't like to drink energy drinks either, I definitely recommend these. This is what it looks like. These are spearmint. I don't think it's going to focus these are spearmint they also sent me chocolate mint um i do not have those i gave them to my fiance because he needs these a lot um he's always drinking energy drinks when he drives that long drive home to me and he gets tired but i definitely trust these a lot more they are so cheap y'all like go on their website and see how cheap these are like for real but i definitely definitely enjoy these over drinking like a thousand times better which i only do take one you can take up to two I do one just because that's a lot of caffeine. So basically these serving size is one piece. Servings per container is 20 calories, zero. And the and the caffeine is 40 milligrams. So I definitely recommend these. Go check them out. They're for a really good price. Like I said, if you don't like drinking energy drinks, get these. <laughs> They're going to be a lot better. But yeah, anyways, other than that, that is all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Add me on Snapchat at it's Louise 20 to see more things of me, my pets, and my fish. And other than that, please give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe, which you can do by hitting my face right here. And you can watch another one of my videos by clicking right here. And it would mean the world to me if you would do so. And I hope you have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this. And I'll see you guys in my next video.